Absolutely. You and I, Anthony, we've been around the commercial aviation and travel business for a while. Um, speak to me a little bit about your, um, I mean, the changes that you've seen in the revenue management space and the pricing space, and also in the network planning space. Because I see that, you know, there are new strategies which come in. And I also see that post pandemic, uh, there's a lot of new routes that airlines are evaluating. Uh, talk to me about that. Talk to me about changes that you've seen um, in revenue management for the last so many years. Yeah. So uh, if I compare, I mean, uh, what when I started my career in 2005, I mean, I worked with a full service of carrier where there was free food, free baggage, everything free. You just pay an amount and everything will be taken care. Yeah. If you're flying in the morning, you used to get a hot breakfast, uh, hot food served. If you're flying in the afternoon, you get your lunch. If you're flying in the night, you get your dinner. And that was something awesome. I mean, yeah, we love everybody that. used to love that. Everybody loved that. I mean, uh, I know the, the Kingfisher were serving some, they have even served lobsters on the long haul flight. So that's something which was good. But as the years passed, I mean, uh, travel then in 2005, I'm talking about in India, it, and I'm sure even in this part, it was luxury. I mean, today, if I compare that, I think it is necessity because people value time more. They don't travel anymore in trains or buses where they spend hours on the road or in the train or something. There are different types of people who fly with you now. Yeah. There are people who, who, who can afford to spend in the same airplane. And there are people who they just want to go point A, point B. They don't want to have luggage. They don't want to eat anything. They're fine with that. So I think these airlines who are catering to these kind of traffic are the more successful ones rather than the full service. Because in full service, you don't have a choice. Whether you like it or you don't like it, by default, you will be getting a breakfast or lunch. But in the LCCs, you can select what you want. I mean, for example, in Jazeera, we, we, we have light value and extra. We have a fair family called light value and extra. So if, you're, if you select and if you want to say, I want to go from point A to point B, I just want to carry hand baggage. I don't need 30 kilos of luggage. I don't need my food. I'm fine. You just pay and you go. I mean, then extra ancillary revenues is the one which is, you know, really come into play now. I mean, everybody is concentrating on ancillary revenue. That is a key, I think, uh, for an airline's PNL because that is where you, without a cost, by default, a passenger is flying with you. You need to just add a couple of things. For example, uh, he buys meals on board, he, if he's buying yeah, a seat yeah, selection absolutely. and all that. So priority boarding, we have all these different things. So these are something new, which I've seen over a decade from what I had seen earlier. Because uh, back then in Kingfisher, if you are a Kingfisher first passenger, uh, and we used to not call it as business class, but we used to call it as Kingfisher first. So you used to get a red carpet in the airport. Yeah. There was a guy who used to come and take your bag from your hand and then go. So all that is fancy, you know, tailor-made things. But that was good then. But I don't think so now. Uh, nobody bothers that. I mean, you can just go to the airport and take your own time. And then you want that service? No problem. You can avail that service. But uh, whatever service you cost. want, there is a charge for it. I was saying I was used to work for the competition. So I exactly know what red red carpet service meant, but exactly. uh, you're absolutely right. I think the way the industry has evolved is uh, there's been a lot of unmundling of fares. Uh, every right. element of pricing today commands a price. Uh, every element of um, service that you require, uh, you can choose. Um, yeah. Back in the day, a few years ago, you know, you had, you, I mean, airlines did not concentrate on ancillary as a real revenue source. But I think um, that's all of that has changed because revenue exactly. from ancillary today uh, contribute in double digits to most airlines, which is just absolutely fantastic to know because the because consumer nowadays, has more there are choice. Of, absolutely. I mean, there are the uh, e-commerce has come into play majorly. There is something even there, people make money. So there are a couple of things, I mean, um, which I've seen, which we need to still explore that how you can, because uh, for example, if the passenger is flying with you, anyways, you're carrying that 
carrying a passenger in yes. the airplane sure. if that passenger can give you something more for some other benefits like for example he is using uh, something called as a priority boarding so we have that something priority boarding you don't need to come and stand in a line we have a common desk where you go there and you stand but there is a cost for it so you pay that and you get you the pay that cost